Hi everyone, this is Dr. Susan Fenton, Assistant Dean for Academic Affairs, and I am here today to tell you a little bit about a tool that hopefully, especially our master's degrees students can benefit from, which is Zotero. Z-O-T-E-R-O. -E so what is Zotero? Okay. Zotero is an open source bibliographic management software that integrates with Microsoft Word to help you manage your references and then your citations and references and bibliographies in your documents. So it open source, meaning it's free. They would love for you to donate, but you don't have to donate, okay? Um, I've used Zotero for probably the last seven years and absolutely love it. I maintain all of my uh, bibliographic data in there in various libraries that I've taken across three different jobs with me. So that's, that's one of the things I really like about it. I, all, what I also like about it is that um, you can install it locally on your computers and have all your references available locally on your computers. So for example, I have access to my references when I'm working on my desktop here at um, SBMI. I also have access to my references on my laptop at home. Um, and if I search for something in one and save it, um, there's a cloud, um, there's a cloud feature of Zotero that allows you to sync between your computers in the cloud. So, so literally you can never lose your references, they're always available to you. And I'm, I'm not the expert on Zotero. Zotero. There are a lot of tutorials, um, you can collaborate, there's a lot that you can do with Zotero that I'm absolutely certain I don't do. Zotero is available for Macs, Windows, and Linux, so just about anybody should be able to use it. The way I use it, and there are different options for how to use Zotero, but the way that I use it is I have it integrated with um, Mozilla Firefox. So Zotero for Firefox, Zotero standalone, I use the Firefox one. So that's what I'm going to be demoing, but do what works best for you. So. I'm going to download Zotero Firefox, Zotero 4.0 for Firefox, okay? Um, and I'm going to say install it now, and it's going to install after I restart Firefox. So, Zotero's installed. You can tell it's installed because down here in the lower right hand corner, there's a little Zotero that you see. Okay. Um, I actually already have an account, so I am going to log in. If I go to my library, um, it's going to take it a little while to load, but you can see all of the different libraries that I have available. Okay, um, and again, these are available on all of my computers. So, um, what I do, what I've done, okay, so I've downloaded it here. Let me start a new tab. If I click on Zotero, this is typically what you see, um, and you can you can make the Zotero part as large or as small as you want to. Let's say you're doing a search in PubMed, okay? And it's going to connect, it's going to bring up PubMed, but it could be any database. It doesn't have to be PubMed. It can be any database. And I'm going to do health, IT, patient, safety. That's going to be my, my topic for this one, okay? So let's say, let me find one. Oh, lots of, lots of stuff, okay. So 
So let's say I'm going to take this one, fragmentation of care threatens patient safety and peripheral vascular catheter management, a qualitative study, but it's relevant to what I want and um, it's free so I can access the, the, the article free. Notice up here in my URL bar, there's a little icon that looks like a piece of paper that's got writing on it and it says save to Zotero. So all I do is I click on that. If you look down here in the lower right hand corner, you will notice that I've got a journal article loaded. It automatically loaded all the data associated with that particular article. So you don't have to load it manually. You don't have to you know, do anything really funky about it. Um, it does it automatically. You can even set up Zotero where it will retain the PDFs of the articles and that will move with your Zotero library. So, but I'm just showing you this part. Um, some of this you're going to have to do, do by yourself. The other thing about Zotero is, of course, you want to use it when you're writing your documents as you're working on your your different papers that are due so I went back to so I'm going to add um, extend Zotero give me the plugin for Microsoft Word okay um, so I'm going to install the Word for Windows plugin for the Firefox extension um, I want to allow it to do it okay Oh, Zotero Word for Windows integration could not be installed because it's not compatible with Firefox 22.0. All right. They usually update that pretty, pretty quickly. Um, but in essence, it's the site while you write. Um, if it was successful installing, you would start Word. Let me find... You would start Word. You don't see it here, but there would be an add-ins, and you would go there, and you could use the Zotero plugins um, for site while you write, um, and citation and reference management. And one of the reasons I really like Zotero over RefWorks, with the, which the TMC library does have, or um, even EndNote, which we, we make available to our, our PhD students, is that Zotero is open source. It, you can store your references out in the cloud, and it's available to you locally on your local computer, as well as um, integrating with Microsoft Word if, so that you can do site while you write. Um, the reason I'm choosing to do this is because we are cracking down on plagiarism. We are not accepting plagiarism. We will expect you to cite and reference your papers appropriately. So please, if you've struggled with this in the past, use Zotero. Um, it's there, that's what it's there for. And you now can't say you don't have something to help you with your references and your citations. Good luck. Um, you may have to do some, you know, some of your own work digging into this and finding out different things to look at. Um, you know, finding out different ways that you can make Zotero work for you, but it's one more tool for you in your academic basket. So thank you and have a great day.